Surveillance video shows Perkins standing by his car. A black SUV pulls up and a person jumps out and fires multiple shots at Perkins. This afternoon at this Valero at Livernois and Joy Road on Detroit's west side. Watch as a blue car pulls in to use a gas pump while a black charger backs up to use the same pump. Both drivers get out and exchange words. Then the passengers get involved. Eventually, the charger goes to a different pump, but the passenger continues arguing. When one of the guys in the blue car pulls a gun, the charger takes off. What happens next isn't caught on camera, but those cars cross paths again nearby, and the people in the blue car shoot at the charger. saw in the area. So here's the newly released body cam video. You can see the police there following the man's going down the alley there and they're shouting at him to stop, but he's keeping on walking until he suddenly then takes out a gun and fires right at them. And I do want to warn you that the video you're about to see is disturbing, but remember everyone survived. Dude, stop. Wow. Get your hands up. Wow. Come on. Wow. Police returned fire, and the suspect, who we now know as Bruce Lua, was hit in the leg but survived. You can see the kids having fun in the parking lot of Kenwood Park, shooting each other with those water guns and throwing water balloons. But in the upper right-hand corner of this view, a second set of what's described as current and former Clayton County high schoolers walks up from a basketball court and enters the parking lot. The sheriff says that the two groups would have words. That would turn into punches thrown. That would turn into shots fired from guns drawn by the basketball players. Here shows the suspect pull up to the station, get out of his car, and aim at a man pumping gas. Police say the suspect fired several times, killing the man and leaving a separate.